What's up guys, it's BC, Brian Casella. Hey, if this is your first video, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe and browse my content. So I'm continuing this How To Be A Millionaire series and I wanted to make this video because I've referenced making a great income, but I wanna go a little bit deeper into it. Obviously, it's gonna require multiple videos. I just wanna give you guys insight on making money and why a lot of people have thought about it the wrong way. Number one, um, I always talk about not being an employee, but being an entrepreneur and running your own business, okay? There are some employee jobs, quote, where like if you're a doctor or something like that, an employee at a law firm, like you're a lawyer, uh, that you can make money, right? But again, that's the exception to the rule and very few people fall into that category. And again, I'm speaking in a general sense. So, cause sometimes I get doctors and lawyers coming on here and hey man, I'm an employee and I get paid, look, it doesn't matter. I'm giving you a general rule of thumb that will help you, right? When you become an entrepreneur, you run your own business, you're the CEO, you're gonna make a lot more money because when you grow a business, its growth potential is not limited. When you're an employee, no matter what level, your growth potential is limited, you have to climb a ladder, and there's a process to get up there. It's not entirely based on performance. When you're a uh, realtor, which is technically an independent contractor, right? Or you're a business person, you're running your own business, whatever kind of business it is, it will be based 100% off your performance. That's why you hear of these online marketing guys or these companies that come out of nowhere and start making a bunch of money. That's because when you run your own shit, when you're your own uh, entity, your own business, you have the ability to just catapult and explode. Does it always happen? No. What is the statistic? Like 87% of, um, or something like that, 85% or 90% of small businesses fail within two years. And out of the ones that do continue, most of them aren't even profitable, something like that. So you would be the exception to the rule. However, what I said in the beginning is there's the possibility of that. That's what you wanna do, right? When you run your own business and you're an entrepreneur. Now people are always asking, oh, how do I come up with ideas to make a great income? Well, here's one thing. What idea can you come up with or what new thing can you come up with or what can you improve that's already there that will be indispensable and cannot be replaced by somebody else or another thing right like when uh, he created ms dos bill gates and windows fuck that was something brand new oh my god boom billionaire because he touched the whole world your product your service your idea the more people it can touch and help and ultimately make their lives better you're going to get paid in direct proportion to that this isn't rocket science guys However, it's gonna require that you take your time and that you're always innovating, creating new things. Or, you do what I did, I became a realtor, you know why? Because like realtor and stockbroker, we work on commission. There's plenty of jobs out there that are commission. I recommend 100% commission based because your ability to make money is not, there's no ceiling on it. There's realtors that are making millions and millions and tens of millions of dollars a year because they sell a ton of houses, high value ones, low value ones, and everything in between, and their teams are cranking out hundreds of units a year. And there's people who sell one house a year. It's gonna be entirely based on your performance. That's what I love about this. But that's how you create a great income. Let's say you can make $10,000 per every house that you sell, and you sell three houses a month. That's $30,000 a month, that's $360,000 a year. If you make that over and over, for a couple of years, and you know what you're doing with your money, you can become a millionaire very, 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 very fast. Okay? So you run your own business, or you do a commission-based job like me. Now, I'm gonna to have to obviously create more videos, sorry, my mouth is a little bit dry, to go more deep into it, but you're looking at it the wrong way. Everyone's looking for security. Oh, I just want the nine to five so I can get my little secured check every week. To the degree that you're not willing to risk it, to that same degree, you're not gonna be massively successful and wealthy. Look at the story of every person who succeeded. Very rarely is somebody a trust fund baby or somebody who didn't have to fight tooth and nail and hold their business idea like a little baby and see it through. Very few people. I've had a knock on thousands of doors, tens of thousands of doors, and make tens of thousands of calls, for sure, to get to where I'm at, and to achieve the skill that I've uh, achieved, and everything else, and all the other accolades. Same thing with speaking. I've been speaking behind the camera, and role playing, and doing all kinds of stuff long before you've seen me on stage, doing speeches now, and getting paid handsomely for it. You gotta pay your dues. But why not pay your dues on your own terms as a business owner, or a commission worker, with no ceiling, versus somebody else. However, the decision is up to you. There's plenty of people who are, quote, employees who are millionaires. I'm just trying to give you the fast track to do it. All right, now obviously there's gonna be subsequent videos to this. I just wanna get you in the right mindset. And as we continue down the line, like my supercar series, it will get more technical and more technical and more technical. Okay, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to share it. Everything else you need is in the description.